Hey YouTube, it's me again. I'm back this time to show you how to wash a wig. Um, I normally try to wash my wigs once a week, but this week, weeks, month has been really crazy and I hadn't had any time to wash it. Um, I haven't been wearing this one consistently. I've been switching back and forth um, from wig to wig. And when I do wear this one, I just try to wet it down really good and put some argan oil on it to try to give it a little bit of luster. But as you can see, the curl pattern is not so much in there. It's not as defined as it was before. So I'm going to go ahead and wash it to bring her back to life. Okay? Bring her back to life and get her back snatched. So she can be defined and curly and bouncy how she was before. It still got some bounce to it and some body, but let me see. Still got some body, but she's not how she was before, so we need to wash her. All right, so stay with me. So, first thing first, we're going to use shampoo and condition um, today. Never, never, never shampoo your hair, your real hair, your wigs, your bundles without conditioning your hair also. So today I'm going to be using Icy Moist. Um, shampoo and conditioner. This is really good. It's really good on natural hair, but I really like it on my wigs because I, I see that it helps to moisturize. It's really a good cleanser as well to clean your hair. Also, I'm using a paddle brush when I shampoo, paddle brush when I condition to make sure all the product is evenly distributed uh, all over the hair. So this is important. Always use a brush. This brush, denim brush, just as long as it has some thick bristles to make sure you're getting um, all the hair. And then here's our wig. Here's how it looks before. Here's how it looks before. Okay. Well, warm water. Not too cold, not too hot. And I'm not bunching it up, just letting it go all through the hair. Until it reaches down in the bottom. What are we doing? Hope you guys can see. What I'm doing. Making sure. We getting the hair everywhere. I mean, getting the water everywhere. See them curls coming back? See them curls coming back? Okay. My water has gotten all through the hair. I'm going to go in with my shampoo. Don't have to use a lot. Not a lot, not a lot. Not upward. We don't want the hair to get tangled up during this process. I'm just rubbing it together to make sure I get a good lather. Make sure it's and this is important, especially under here, because this is where your neck is. The hair, you know, tends to rub up against your clothes. So you really want to make sure you get the back really good. So if you see me tapping my phone, I'm just making sure that the screen doesn't go off. <laughs> Forgive me, guys. So it's I'm the app that I'm using. Kind of scrunching it up together to make sure that I'm getting the shampoo well distributed before I go in and try and brush it through. A little bit more shampoo. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. you want it to smell good too and I don't wear my wigs at night anyway I take them off so it's not like um, a lot of scent or anything that's in it it doesn't smell or anything uh, so there I go brushing it can you see always brush from the ends up Hands up on the brushing it through. See how beautiful those curls are. And this is 
two bundles and a closure. Ah, not a closure, front them. Two bundles and a front them. Okay. So this is our first wash. I normally wash twice, condition once, and I let the conditioner sit. And as the water goes through, I'm brushing it through. Sometimes it don't get distributed either. So you don't want any part left out because you don't want some looking good and the other not. But I always keep in mind where my part is and I always try to put it on my hand so I won't get confused. So I'm brushing, brushing, brushing all the way down to the end. Part two, just because I oil my scalp, so I don't want to oil on my frontal. This back here again is where your neck is. You want to be sure to definitely make sure you get that. Make sure it's combable. And this is the back. I'm just doing this just because I want to make sure that it's detangles really good. And then I come back and brush it back down. So it looks like it's pretty good. I washed it pretty good. It really doesn't take much. It's just the drying part that takes a while. So that's what we're doing. And look, see how beautiful those waves are? That's what you want. Okay. I'm washing this as well. This is where the this is a dome cap that I made this one out of. So I want to make sure this part is clean. Make sure it's not holding any scent because all of this stuff can start to smell after a period of time. So you don't want fresh, clean hair, and then your wig cap is smelling. So you don't want that. So make sure you hit that part. And then that's gonna be about it on the shampoo part. I think we've done pretty good. You see the curls? That's what we want. That's what we want. Beautiful divine curls. See? Beautiful. Alright, and then rinse it out. I'm about to move on to the conditioning part. Our last part. So I'm squeezing the wig out before I put the conditioner in to make sure we're not diluting the conditioner. Just squeezing it out like you do a rag or I don't know. And we know we did good because look it's good so that's just after a shampoo imagine how it's going to be after the conditioning is dry so here it is looking good looking good looking good still kind of trying to keep my part in tech see the lace is pretty good and bleach conditioner Give me a few pumps in there. And I'm just making sure I get it in. And 
And you don't have to use this conditioner. If you like a shampoo and conditioner, use that. Whatever works for you. It's basically just the method that I'm showing you. Because some people, when they wash their wigs, they get detangled. I'm like, mm -mm. we don't want to do no hard work. Hard, hard work. So, again, the hardest part is just the drying time, letting it dry. This part is pretty easy because you're using a brush. So, the conditioner is in. This is what we looking like. If you can see, it's really pretty. And let me show you what it looks like without the light. Well, no, we need the light. Okay. <clears throat> And I haven't brushed it through yet. So let me go ahead and brush it through. This is just after putting the conditioner on. And you don't have to do from root to end from right here because it's already detangled. And I know it's not going to catch any snags or anything or pour any hair out. So that's all I'm doing right now. it up a little bit and so the only thing next I do is put a little organ oil on it and then hang this part over my door and that's it so that's how I wash my wings all right guys so as you can see the wig is now washed and the curls are really really defined really beautiful looking wig so only thing i done was i just hung it um on my door so i put this over my door like this and just let it hang um until it was dry and that's how it looks now so curls are really defined i did put a little argan oil on it while it was wet that's really important to make sure that um you're not putting too much and the hair becomes way down okay so that's our finished look and i'll take a picture with it on all right